Firstly, Craft Price Drop isn't like a normal show here on Hachanda. It involves a falling price auction, which means the price continues to plummet until the quantity reaches zero and the price locks. Regardless of when you call to register your bid or added that item to your basket, everyone pays the final low price, plus your postage, unless you're a Freedom member. It's an amazing opportunity for Freedom members. Fantastic low prices, plus no postage. Now, if you're not a Freedom member, you'll pay $4.95 postage on every item you bid for. But as a Freedom member, you get unlimited standard delivery on every item you purchase from any Hachanda show, including Craft Price Drop. Plus, Freedom members also get selected discounts and offers. So why not join Freedom now? Get all the Craft Price Drop deals here and pay no postage. Freedom costs just $6.97 per month. Just add that number, 888888, to your basket and continue bidding. Craft Price Drop, the new, exciting way to shop here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm part of the Creative Expressions team. I've been crafting for, well, most of my life to be honest, and my passion is paper craft. Creative expressions have given me the chance to spend my time drawing and bringing things to life which I never thought I'd ever be able to do. So when you see me on TV, hopefully I can bring you something that will inspire you whether you're a paper crafter, whether you're a die cutter or whether you're a stamper. I hope you get the chance to tune into some of my shows on Hochanza where I can share with you some of the creativity and some of the designing that I've been able to bring to you through my designs. Hello, morning, hope you're well. Welcome to the first show of the day here on Tuesday. It is Craft Price Drop, of course. That's what we do every day at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. on your TV. And of course, at 11 o'clock, we do it online as well, every single day, even weekends as well. Great to have your company, and we've got a lot to get in today. Lots of varied bits and pieces to bring you at brilliant Craft Price Drop prices. And get involved, of course. You can, of course, take part in the show on the website. That's the best way. Achanda.com. Uh, put things in your basket and check out. That confirms that you're in the auction. You can also, of course, find us on Facebook as well. There's like a little Facebook community that get together every day and kind of comment on what we're doing and what they're buying and what they're getting. Watch out for that. Uh, and of course, if you want to phone us rather than go to the website, you can phone us, of course, 01733. Uh, it is uh, 797100 is the phone number, uh, of course, if you want to order on the phone. And the operator will put you into the auction. Okay, let me talk you around how it works and show you what you get on the screen. You get the item number, you get the product description, and then you get the all important price in the purple box. Now, the purple box price is what the uh, what you should be paying basically for it um, any day of the week if you go to the website that's what you should be paying 42 pounds but the white box underneath the purple box is where the price starts to fall where it starts to plummet and that is going to be of course where eventually the price will get locked when the stock that comes up down there gets to zero so when that gets to zero that locks the price and that's the price everybody pays provided you put it in your basket and you've checked out or you've given us a call either way okay then the phone number down the bottom that will appear at some point but her channel com is of course the best way to do everything because that way there's never a queue pop it in your basket and check out on the website or there's the number 01733 797 100 and the operator will put you in the auction but one thing always remember to put it in your basket and check out during the live auction don't do it before the auction's been activated don't do it after the auction's ended because either way if, you, if there's any stock left at the end um, the price will be higher uh, sometimes one or two drop back into stock if someone doesn't uh, you know, proceed to check out that sort of thing uh, and also of course if you put it in before the auction starts you'll again pay the high price so we don't want that we want you everybody to pay the final low price okay so the first item it's on the screen for you it is our spellbinders our two die sets you've got contemporary heart pendants and you've got the classic edges one uh, and that's what they basically call the dies 42 pounds should be a price you've got a total of seven dies in total here if I turn the 
the round one round for a second or two. You can see you've got those lovely heart designs uh, decorating the entire circle on the inner circle. The inner circle. And on the outside circle too. And you've got these lovely little uh, corners as well, that star too. So there's basically four dies for these fantastic results that you see on the front of the packaging. And then the other one, these are for your borders, um, for edges. So basically you can make lovely kind of strips if you want to. If I turn them down that, or turn them around that way for you, there we are, look, you can see you've got a lovely, uh, three lovely designs, you've got a scalloped edge, you've got a zigzag edge, and then you've got that kind of domed edge at the top there as well. So those three dies and the circles should be £42. Not now, not now because they're in craft price drop. When you see the arrows flashing, you know that price is going to come a crash in. Here we go, £20, £22 off the price. Better than half price. Working out to only £2.85 a die. And they're big dies. They are huge. For that sort of price, you're getting a lot for your money. And we get, we get some of the best brands that we have in craft here at Hachanda and also on Craft Price Drop as well. We get Tonic, we get uh, the fantastic uh, Crafters Companion, we get Spellbinders, we get loads of great brands. And today we've got uh, Mill Shop Online coming up soon. That's going to be a stock or clock, I reckon. Uh, we've got some wonderful ribbon coming up a bit later on that you could use to wrap your Christmas, uh, Christmas prezzies. We've got, uh, what else have we got? Ganzai, yeah, we've got um, Kurataki pens. Yeah, that's coming up as well. Kurataki pens and also paints from Kurataki too. So that's just some of the highlights coming up in the show between now and eight o'clock. Now look at that price, it is going down. 19 pound 44, down from 42 pounds. Saving you at the moment 23 pounds off. Not a bad way to start your Tuesday, saving that sort of money. Can we go any lower? Yes, we can. That's what I've just been told. We're already about 55% off. How much lower can we go? Here we go. Where's that arrow going to take us now? To £16.99. That saves you a whopping... £15. No, £25. Yeah. £25 off. From £42 down to £16.83 for great Spellbinders dies. I mean, that, uh, that round die, by the way, is not all one. There's actually, as I said to you before, four dies in there. So you can use this outside die as a circular frame if you wish to. This one and this one completely separate. And then those two, of course, are completely separate at the top. £16.59 for both of those. You'd be paying more for that, more, more than that, just for one of these. 1635, it's still going down. All you've got to do if you want to put this into your basket, if you want these two die sets in your life, just go to hachanda.com, put them in your basket, and check them out. Check out your basket, that confirms that you're in. We've got 10 available at the moment. With a few of you in already, it's still going down. 10 chances to get into the auction and to get this in your basket. Will you be paying 1603 or will it be less than that? I think it might even be less than 16 pounds. It is, 15.95. How do I know that? I never know where the price is gonna go. People don't believe me still, but I never do. I never ever do. Because you control when it gets to zero. When it gets to zero, that's when the price is locked. So when that happens, it's down to you, not me. Seven left, seven chances to get these in your basket and check out. Or still time, probably get through on the phones if you're quick. 01733 797 100. The operator will make sure you pay no more than 15.55 if you're quick. Five left at 15.47. Lots of you coming in for these now. Remember to have those decorative edges, always really useful, always really handy. I don't know if it gives me a size on these or not. No, it doesn't say a size. I reckon they're about, does it say on the details how long they are? On the borders? On the strips. 20.3 centimetres, the length of those. I don't know what that is in inches, but 20.3 centimetres long. That's on the, well, they're all the same length. There we go. £15.15. 15 pence. One left at £15.15. 15. Good luck, I hope you get it. It's gone. That's it, auction over. That's our first one done. Price lock. Done and dusted. Everyone pays that final low price. And just a quick word as well uh, about PMP. No one will pay postage as long as you are a member of the Freedom Club. In the UK, it is triple eight, triple eight, six pound ninety-seven. But you can remember, join Freedom in Europe. 
and also in the USA, because I know we have lots of American viewers now watching our shows, price, price drop and also regular shows. If you want to join the Freedom Club in America, it's $19.99 for a month, uh, and that means you don't pay any shipping and handling on anything. No matter where in the world it's coming from, you don't pay shipping and handling. Cara's watching in New York. Morning, Cara. What time is it in New York now? 10 past 3 in the morning. Cold and rainy, not so much better here either. Um, and also, if you're in Europe, you can join the Freedom Club as well. 14 euros and 97 cents, and that is a month's membership. And uh, we'll show you a bit later on all the European countries that we cover, but most of them, you don't pay any PNP at all if you're a Freedom member. Okay, now, that's that covered. Let's have a little look at a great set of stamps for you. These are not stamp sheets. These are individual cut-out rubber stamps. Now, starting price should be... 48 pounds and 62 pence, okay? 48.62 should the price be, or should be the price for these. Now have a little look at these, these wonderful florals. These are, does it say what, um, what flowers these are? They look a little bit like, what's that guy, is it? What, what flowers are these? Carnations? They look a little bit like that. I think they look a little bit like carnations. But look, they're all individual rubber stamps and they're all foam mounted for you as well. And you've even got these wonderful little sayings down here as well, wonderful little verses. Uh, make every day extraordinary. May you live all the days in your life in love, uh, forever and always celebrate today. All of those stamps ready to be stamped straight away. And we're getting that price right down by half. It's 50% off straight away. That's the first plummet, 48.62 down to 24.31. And I haven't even shown you the butterflies yet. These are butterflies with wonderful patterns actually in their wings. Just look how beautiful these are. And you've actually got the butterfly trail just here. That's really cool, actually. And the butterfly trail is actually a word or a verse. So as you can say here, it says, wishing you a beautiful day, flutter by to say hi, or fluttering by to say hi. And you get all these wonderful patterns on the, uh, on the wings of the butterfly. Really, really sweet. And we've also got, of course, a plain one there as well, which makes a wonderful background, so you can actually stamp in one colour and then stamp the pattern over the top of that colour if you want to. And you get that in all of them, actually. The smaller ones, medium-sized ones, and the larger ones as well. So you could maybe have, I don't know, uh, maybe a yellow background and then maybe that one in a bright orange. And the yellow and the orange would go really well together. There we are, look. So that is solid, that is solid, and so is that, and then you've got the patterns to go over the top of them. With, of course, that wonderful butterfly trail as well. 23.50. Now these are, as you can probably tell, from the same stable as, uh, this is the Butterfly Parade in actual fact. This is from Whimsical Wishes. That's the company that's put that together for us. And these are tailored expressions. And they've all got the holes actually punched into the side there too, so if you put them straight into a ring binder, you can do that. Oh, it's a hydrangea. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. Much appreciated. Hydrangea. I'm not very up on my flowers, so probably... <laughs> you probably guessed. Thank you for that. Illustrations by Nancy McKinley. She's the lady behind that, or McKinney. 2287. Better than half price. I've just been told it's actually ten past two in the morning in New York, not ten past three, so thank you for that. Our clock went back. But I don't think yours has yet. I think your... Oh, our clock in the gallery didn't go back. Every other clock did, but the ones that give us East Coast and West Coast didn't. Thank you for that. 22.51. So we're probably giving you the wrong times for the last week, but never mind, don't worry about it. 48.62 down to £22.42 pence for your tailored expression stamp set. So I think at the time in America goes back at a different time, doesn't it? I think, and in Europe as well. Not the same Sunday that happens to us. Slightly different time. £22.15 for both sets. You're getting one set absolutely for nothing. And I love the fact they've already been pre-mounted on foam for you. There we are, look. Straight onto your stamping platform, straight onto your acrylic blocks. OK, how many have we got? The big question, how long will this auction be around for? We've got 11 left. That's all we have, with lots of you already in on these. Who doesn't love butterflies? Who doesn't love hydrangeas? 20 quid. Saving you nearly 30. No PMP for Freedom members, remember? So that's a delivered price at the moment. Will it go below £20? There's 10 spaces in the auction, 10 chances to get these. Lots of you putting these in your basket. Is it two separate gifts? Well, £10 each, basically. 
Ah, uh, America, every day the clocks went back last Sunday. The Sunday just gone, so that was, what, two days ago. And ours went back the week before, so that's where it gets a bit confusing. Eight remaining at 1996. Thanks for all the info, guys. It's nice to know you're watching us over there as well. We're global. Seven left at £19.88 on this Tuesday morning. Just six remaining for these stamps, and they are going to be sent to you whether you're in Europe, whether you're in America, whether you're in the UK, it doesn't matter. You can order them, and they'll be with you in a matter of days. And you know, that Craft Price Drop, we bring you some amazing things, because these would sell at the full price any day of the week. Everyone loves flowers. Everybody loves butterflies. There's never going to be a, 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 you know, a time where people go, oh, no, that was so last year. Butterflies are so last year. No, they're always appropriate, and they're always current. And I love the fact you've got the block stamps, and you've got the detail stamps to go over the top. One left at 1968. Good luck. I hope you get it. 448375 has sold out to Lorraine. She got the last one. Price locked. There we are, locked price. Thank you, Lorraine. You've closed it for everybody. Just to confirm, everyone pays £19.68 and not a penny less or more. Okay. Now, I did promise you some Kurataki. Now, uh, I'll see if I can get some card, just a, a plain piece of white card, just to show you how fine uh, this black pen is, because this is probably the finest black pen I've ever, ever seen. Let me just show you this. This is something you'll be so proud of owning. To start off with, it looks so gorgeous. And if I just click it open, look at the nib on that. That is such a fine tip pen. I'll put my hand behind it so you can see. There we are, look. Look how fine that is. It's so detailed. You're getting a refill for it as well. And there's even a little protective cap that sits on the top of that nib because it is such a delicate nib. But it's so fine. And as well as that, not only are you getting the black fine liner, you're also getting this palette of colour. This is a palette of wonderful water-based pigments. Let me just show you how fine this is. This is probably one of the finest pens you'll ever have the chance of owning. Look at this. For doing your fine line work, if maybe you're doing some faux stitching or something like that, this isn't a flexible nib, it's actually quite firm, but the detail is quite immense. Nancy, Nancy loves fine tips, so I've just been told. Nice one, Nancy. I think Nancy's in, Nancy's in New York, isn't she? Or Wisconsin. Wisconsin? I think it's Wisconsin. Look, so you're getting that, you're getting the refill for it as well, and you get, look at this, this is a high pigment water-based palette. Oh my word. Look at the wonderful metallic reflection off of these pigments. Gem red, gem pink, yellow gold, gem green, gem blue, and gem violet. So now you can paint with Kirataki as well as write and draw. And what does that say? Kokoiro Superline. All oh, right, that's what it's called. Kokoiro. Oh, she's from Boston, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. I did know that, but I've forgotten. Thank you, that. So there's your Kokoiro pen. Of course, so Kirataki is Japanese, and they are renowned for their quality inks. They're renowned for their quality paints as well. Look at the shimmer coming off of this pigment. Look at the shimmer coming off of these colours. They're called the Gem Colours. Twenty-two pound fifty is all this is. Twenty-two fifty for, I mean, you pay that just for these paints. You really, really would. And there's a lot in here. And they are removable, by the way. They do actually just kind of pop out. There we are, look. And that is loaded with a cr incredible quality paints. There we go, look. And they just fit back in there, so they've all got their own place. There's your gem blue. There's your gem pink. There's your purple. There we go, look. You can kind of move them around a little bit as well if you want to, but they are absolutely gorgeous. That's your gem red. They look amazing on black uh, cardstock, evidently. I've not tried that, but thank you for that. Maybe you've already got them and you've tried them yourself. They shimmer and shine like you wouldn't believe. And you get both of these. So you get the refill, you get the fine tip corpuro, I think you pronounce it like that, superior line letter pen, and the refill. All for, at the moment, 2202. They did have a price of 46 pounds and 32 pence. You'll need the tiniest amount of this because it is incredibly intense. Water-based pigment from Kurataki. Wonderful gift idea for someone who loves their colouring in or loves their painting. We've got the last 
nine left. Single figure stock for your colour gems. Eight left. £21.84 gets you all of this. Maybe you're going to keep the pen for yourself and give that as a gift to someone else. Really thoughtful gift idea. So whether you're painting onto watercolour cards, whether you're painting onto black cards, these paints and these pigments will really, there's so much mica in them, they're going to pick up the light beautifully well, they really are. Six left, £21.66. £21.66. Down from 46.32. That is a saving of £25 in your bank account, not ours. Four left, hachanda.com, that's the way to do it. Put it in your basket while we're live on the auction. Don't put the last one in, don't put the next one in. The one that we're on, that's what you need to put in your basket and check out if that's what you want. That will then guarantee that you pay the final low price. With two left at £21.60, hope you get them. There's always someone disappointed. We always close the auction and then someone misses out. It always happens. Don't let that be you. It's gone. John, you got the last one. Congratulations at 2160. Price locked. Locked. Absolutely. You're coming in thick and fast. Busy old auction this morning. Just after quarter past seven, coming up to 20 past seven on a Tuesday morning. We're making silver jewellery in the next hour. I've not done this show with Helen before, but you know I'm a jewellery fan. I'm looking forward to it. So if you fancy making your own silver jewellery, and you can even hallmark it, it's coming up in the next hour. Now, pads. Paper pads. Now, what have we got here? These are Christmas collections. So it might be now. I saw, I saw a statistic this morning on the TV that said one in five people have actually done all their Christmas shopping in the UK by the end of October. Really? 20% of the population have done their Christmas shopping by the end of October. I started to do mine last month. I, I, one or two things I found that I thought, well, I'll get them now. But no, I haven't really kind of started in earnest at all. I know quite a few people that do most of it on Christmas Eve, and I think that's a big mistake. You end up paying top dollar, or you can't find what you want. Um, do it kind of mid-November, beginning of December. That's when I do it, most of mine. OK, now, Sylvia says she likes the stripey one. OK. Let me show you the stripey one first, then, Sylvia. Because there's a mixture. It's not all the same. Uh, it's a bound pad as well, by the way, so that end is, is solid. But let me flick through. Predominantly, the colours remain very samey throughout, so it's great for coordination. So you've got predominantly the olive green, the burgundy, uh, the beautiful uh, browns as well, the taupey colours in there too. Very kind of Nordic, I think. Like it. And all of these words, they can be little tiles. If you use your trimmer, you can cut all of these out if you wanted to. Love Joy, he's an antique dealer, isn't he? Peace, love and joy, there you go. Snow, frosty. There we go. Yeah, Ian McShane was the actor. Yeah. That just reminded me of a fact. Just reminded me of... Years ago when I did pantomime, the ballroom scene, we danced to the theme of love, Joe. That just, just come back to me. Yeah. It's funny the things that you think of, isn't it? Right, now, um, here's the other pad. And in my case, Dad uh, actually danced badly to the theme of love, Joe. Here we go. This is the other pad that you're going to get as well. Here we go. We've got grey and we've got green. We've got uh, peppermint green in there as well. So these are snowflakes and ferns and branches and trees as well. Really lovely. So great for your Christmas cards, great for your Christmas scrapbooks. You can even use this as wrapping paper as well for things of the right size if you wanted to. £14.71 is where we're at at the moment. It was and should be £24.99. So you're looking basically at £12.50 per pad. You get both of them for £14.63. So £7.31.5 at the moment. 170 GSM, 96 sheets in total, so 48 in there, 48 in there. Totally different, but the colourways are very kind of similar running through. Where do you get festive paper pads like this? They don't pop along very often. Uh, this one, there's actually a sheet in here, or a few sheets in here that have got the numbers on, which I think is rather cool. There we are, look. So again, you could cut those out if you've got the patience and maybe make them into little advent calendars if you wanted to. Little advent boxes if you maybe hide them around the home or something. Festive numbers. Stripes, again, you can cut those into strips if you wanted to make them into little ribbons, paper ribbons. It's 170 GSM, so it's verging on card. They reckon, we did a bit of, a, a bit of research the other day, that paper becomes card around about the 170 GSM. So this is verging on cardstock. 
14.31, saving you over £10 off the price, about £10.68 off the price. We're going down again. We're not happy with that price. We want to take it even lower for you on this Tuesday morning. So here we go. £24.99, £12.99. That is nearly half price. 50 pence over half price. Lots of you putting these in your basket right now. Remember, if you get in now, you'll get that low price of 12 99 If you leave it, you may end up missing out on the auction. If any bounce back and then you try and buy it maybe two, three minutes after the auctions are closed, you'll be charged 24 99 So never put it in your basket either side of the auction. Only put it in your basket when the auction is live. That means you pay the final low price. 11 left, 10 left now at £12.83. Good luck. I hope you get them. Let me flip through the other pad again for you. I only went through this one once. This one's got more snowflakes and ferns and trees in it and things like that. Ponsetti is more floral. Lovely quality paper or card. £12.75. You know, you don't have to worry about the item number. Just find it on your uh, or on our website, not your website. Find it on our website, achanda.com, in your basket. That means that you have got it and your checkout confirms your place in the auction, OK? If you don't check out, you haven't got it. Eight left. £12.59, seven left. Good luck. I hope you get what you want. We've got, remember, uh, stock or clock coming up soon as well, which is going to be fabric from the mill shop online. We've also got some fantastic wide um, kind of uh, natural hessian ribbons. So if you're looking for like a natural wrapped up Christmas look and some, uh, some fantastic um, cushion boxes as well, some pillow boxes, they're coming up soon. £12.51. Four left at £12.51. pence. That is now better than half price. It's officially under half price. So one pad is completely a bonus, completely free. 96 sheets. 170 GSM. The next two of you will be lucky. Good luck. 12.47. One left. Who's going to get the last pair of those paper pads or card pads? Sharon, you've got the last one. Price locked. Price is locked and confirmed. So, that price again, just for everybody, £12.47. For some reason, that says 5 95 PMP. Our PMP is 4 95 per item, so that's wrong. Um, but also, if you're in the Freedom Club, you don't pay the PMP anyway. So, hopefully, that's by the by. Anyone paying posters this morning at all? A couple, but most of you have been Freedom members. So that's good to know. Right, now, this is a bit of a mixture. I like this a lot because there's a bit of everything in here. You're getting a lot of cardstock here for your money. It's uh, 95 sheets of embellishments and backing card as well. It's A5 in size. Basically, this is not a backing sheet. These are all die-cut flowers. See? They all pop out. You've got four, eight, 12 flowers on just one sheet of A5 there. But look at what else you've got. You've got interlinked rings. So that could be civil partnership, wedding. You've then got, what does that say? Oh, to have and to hold. So again, with like a wedding idea, that's a lovely backing, maybe for a, uh, an invitation. You do get multiples of the same. You don't just get everything different. You get die-cut butterflies. You've got foiled flowers. Let me just flick through the rest of these for you. Gold and silver. There are the rings. So this has definitely got like a romantic kind of wedding theme to it. But some of them are generic. The, the butterflies are generic. The flowers are generic. Here we've got some craft card. Craft card flowers, which you can easily... Uh, decorate and colour if you want to. Then you've got your foil butterflies, your foiled hearts. Um, you can actually, uh, if you wanted to, put some ink on that. The foil would resist it, obviously, but you could certainly ink up uh, the kind of pearl cardstock around it because it is made from like a pearlized card, which is rather lovely. So that's the first pack. Uh, I think it's the same in both sides, then. Right, yes, it is. So you've got a mixture of hearts. It is definitely like a wedding theme, but you've got dots, you've got butterflies, and you've also got hearts, which can be used all year round for all sorts of things. So probably 50% of it is for weddings and civil partnerships, and the other half is just generic all year round. OK, we have taken £30 off the price. Should be 49 99 Not today. It is £19.99 pence for all 95 sheets. And this has got two, four, six, eight, ten. That's got 12 hearts on it as well. Really lovely quality. Very good quality thickness, and they all die cut perfectly. No craft knife needed. You just basically pop them out. That's all you have to do. Still going down at £19.75. £30 off. 
that is about a 65, uh, yeah, about a 65% drop in price. What a big bundle of cardstock that is for that price. What would you pay for a sheet of that? <coughs> I mean, if you were able to get that sheet of die-cut hearts for, say, 75 pence? Well, let's say 65p. You'd be pretty happy with that, I'm sure. 1951 for 95 sheets. What does that make that per sheet? 95 sheets at 1951. What's that per sheet? Ninety-five sheets, it's going down, going lower to fourteen ninety-nine. What does that work out to? Fifteen P a sheet. What did I say? You'd probably pay about sixty-five P a sheet elsewhere if it was individually available. I reckon you would. I wouldn't begrudge paying that for something like this. Quality card stock, beautifully foiled. You do get as many gold as you do silver. So it's a real mixture for you. Those dots are all foiled as well. Great for die cutting, great for matting and layering, trim to whatever size you need. 1483 saves you £35 off. Here comes the quantity. You've got the plain ones, the craft card butterflies that you can, of course, ink up and colour however you wish. The rest of them are almost like, well, it's a pearlised cardstock, but you've got gold and you've got silver. To have and to hold. I love that wording, actually, and the way that it's been foiled on that cardstock. Really lovely. That if we can see, yeah, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer or poorer. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? And it just looks like a, a, a like a, 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 a versed background until you get close and you actually realise what the words mean and what the words say. How many of you have said that in the past, what's been written down here? Ten left then. £14, 19 pence. Gets you 95 sheets of quality foiled cardstock. Let me just show you another one. Let's show you two the same. There we are, there's a gold polka dot. There's your silver flowers. There's your gold butterflies. Or silver butterflies, I think. I love the ring one. The interlinking rings. Very nice. We've got seven left, £13.87. We're almost halfway through craft price drop this morning. Half past seven on the nose. For 95 sheets of A5 backing card, £13.63, and it's yours. Last five. Five of you will be lucky to get this. I've not seen this before. I don't know if it's been on before. It has, evidently, but I've not seen it. And here's a little die-cut butterfly for you. And, of course, because you can, you can make them three-dimensional. Just basically crease the wings. You can have one maybe flat and then the other one on top of it. Like that. That'll look rather nice. So you've got the three dimensional aspect of the wings. Three left. 1331. Good luck. I hope you get what you want. So, predominantly weddings and civil partnerships, but also you've got generics in there as well with the flowers and the butterflies too. £13.23, the last one available. If it's you that gets it, congratulations. If you miss out, sorry. It's gone. Last one's gone. Price lock. Okay, stock or clock next. What is that all about? Well, basically, we've got a limited quantity of availability of this. Um, we predict it's going to sell quite quickly. Uh, and we are basically saying, okay, what's it going to be? Is it going to be the clock that gets to zero first, or is it going to be the stock that gets to zero availability first? Stock or clock? Clock or stock? Mill Shop Online. Joe and his family are regulars here at Hachanda, and they bring us some amazing fabric. And look at this for a colour. Isn't that cheerful? It's almost like a, a limey lemon, a limon, limon, yeah, depending on what's near it, it will either look a greeny or a yellowy colour, but very bright and cheerful, um, good quality cotton as well this, very, very good quality, 100% heavyweight cotton, so really quite, um, I was going to say industrial, but that's not the right word to use, but it's quite, if you're using it for things that are going to go through the mill, if you know what I mean, uh, like, uh, you know, seat covers, anything like that, uh, maybe cushions for the conservatory, uh, bag making, things that, you know, are going to get used quite a lot, then this is the, the cotton for you. I do love this one. I love the colours on this and the pattern on it as well. Look at this. That is really cool. I like that a lot. You've got your olive green, uh, you've got your silver grey, 
you've got your black and you've also got that mustard color which is so in fashion at the moment mustard you see an awful lot of uh, clothes and dresses made out of that mustard color well here you can have cushions or whatever you want to make out of it uh, actually what about a good idea to make this into a bag to go with maybe a, a mustard outfit that you possibly have got that would look really lovely and then we've also got this one which is the olive green with the white dots on it so they all work together very nicely indeed all three of these now the measurements you're looking at three half meter fabrics that's the width but the length have we got a length on this does it give us a length 54 width okay so the guess I would say it's about four feet yeah because I'm six foot one so about four feet in length Sorry, I'm mixing metres and feet, aren't I? Never mind. OK, let's drop that price and let's get that clock going. Let's get that clock on the screen. OK. Hey! How do I do that? Three minutes and here comes the quantity. I don't know my own strength. £20 is where we dropped it. Half price, is it going to be the stock that goes first or is it going to be the clock that gets to zero first? That's the big question. You've got three half metre fabrics, all heavyweight cotton, all about four feet in length. 22 left and it's 21 now. Two minutes, 36 seconds to go. 1988, better than half price. My favourite definitely is this. I would have that maybe as the front of a cushion and then put possibly that colour on the back or some calico on the back and use that for something else. Or this could be the outside of the bag, this could be the lining of the bag. Have the plain kind of limon in the bag. 1964 gets you all of this fabric. But there's only 17 chances left to get it. I knew this fabric would be popular and it's going quickly. We've got two minutes and one second to go. Will that get to zero before that gets to zero? 17. Is it going to be stock that goes first or clock that goes first? Yep. Stock's going quickly. Stock is going very, very quickly indeed. Uh, everyone in the gallery isn't sure, but they think maybe it could go stock to zero first. Down to 14 now, with 1 minute and 35 seconds on the clock. Nearly halfway through the clock. What did we start the stock up? 25. OK, we're halfway through on the clock and we've got 13, so we're virtually neck and neck. Halfway on the stock, halfway on the clock. Are you going to get them? If so, what's going to be the price? At the moment, it's £19, 12 pence for all of this fantastic heavy-duty fabric. It isn't canvas, but it's a heavyweight cotton, so use this on something that will go through the mill, that will be used every single day, whether it's just sitting on it, resting on it, carrying things in it, whatever it might be. Great for aprons, too. Actually, that's an apron. Yeah, why not? That is a waistcoat. Mm, that'd be nice. Stock or clock, we've got eight left and 45 seconds on the clock. Will eight of you check out in the next 40 seconds or will the clock beat you? Now's the time to put it in your basket, hachanda.com. In your basket and check out. Checking it out takes the counter down from six to five. Someone's about to do that any second, I'm sure. We've got 25 seconds, there we go, it's down to five. 24, 23, with five sets left. When the clock gets to zero or the stock gets to zero, that's it, auction over. If there's any left, it will go back to the high price. Three remaining, 14 seconds, 13, 12, two left, 10, nine, eight, seven, one left. Good luck, I hope you get it before the clock gets to zero. Is anyone gonna, it's gone with three seconds. Jerry, you got the last one. Price lock. Whoo, that was close. That was good, I enjoyed that. Well, last one, Jerry. You got the last one of those fantastic fabrics from Mill Shop Online. Okay. Now, more cardstock for you. We've brought you some pads earlier on with a festive theme. Well, this isn't a pad. This is a real mixture. And it's lovely to get mixes like this, actually, because you've got a little bit of everything in here. I mean, just at the back here, for example, you've got embossed A4 cards. So if I tilt that down... Can you see how wonderfully embossed this is? If you haven't got an embossing machine, or you haven't got embossing um, folders, for example, this has done the embossing for you. I don't know if they're all different or not. Let me just see if they are. That one's not embossed. No. Oh. So you've got some plain cardstock and some embossed cardstock. OK. So those are plain at the back. That's embossed. So is this. Let's see what these embosses look like. 
What's that one? That's the deboss side. So it's a real mixture here. Christmas trees on that one, I think it is. Yeah, Christmas trees on that. There's your stars, look. So I'll turn it around, that's the embossed side. Very nice, actually. Not just Christmassy, that's kind of all year round. So you get uh, quite a few embossed sheets of cardstock. That's also going back to snowflakes, yep. So then we've also got embossed mirrored card, which is a lot easier to see at the back here. Wow, lovely, isn't it? Then you've got some foil cardstock as well. These could be little Christmas tiles, red foiling on there, happy Christmas, holly, ho, ho, ho. 23 pounds, we're dropping the price to. 23 pounds off. You're paying just £23 half price. We've got some gold and silver foiling there as well with the same sort of pattern. It's upside down, but it doesn't matter. Here we've got our stars. Red, silver, gold. There you go, look. Red foiling. And those stars, are, and the tree's probably a Christmassy, but the stars certainly are all year round, definitely. What else have we got here? Um, I'll tell you what, let me just kind of pick this up and give you a flick. It's easier that way. Uh, you've got some foiled acetate as well. If I hold that there, you can see it's actually got um, foiled stars on it. So that makes a fantastic front of a card, maybe, where you want a little bit of festive atmosphere. You get about three or four sheets of that, which is rather cool. Uh, then you've got some glitter card in there as well. Red, gold, silver, green, it's all in there. Pearlescent card stock. So this is a real mixture for you. It's like a Christmas, a Christmas um, compendium of cardstock in gold, red, green, silver, beautiful. There's some more embossed foil cardstock for you, look. Very nice. Okay, here comes the quantity. You've even got a little bit holographic, I think. I think this holographic, is this holographic gold? Yeah, it is. Yeah, look at that. Embossed holographic gold. Impressive. So it's a lovely mixture of cardstock for you. You've actually got 75 sheets in here. Now, bearing in mind, this will be delivered if you're a Freedom member without any postage charges at all. That's no mean feat, because this would weigh an awful lot and would charge, and the post office would charge, a small fortune to get this to your door. You're going to get it delivered without any postage whatsoever if you're quick and put it in your basket and check out right now. You've got white embossed card, which you can, of course, glitter up and uh, you can uh, put gilding waxes on it and gilding mousses on it if, as well if you want to. So loads of ways of, of using all of this card stock, but foiled to perfection, embossed to perfection. There's your pearlescent card as well. Glitter card in there too for good measure. Even foiled acetate, £20.28. 28 what better to invest in at this time of the year? And we've only got five left at £20.28. 28 A few people this morning have paid postage, but not very many. Four left at £20.21, saving you a whopping £25 off the price, or £26 now off the price, really. Three remaining. You know, you could get this maybe in January or February at a reduced price. You'd expect to. That's when we always buy our wrapping paper in January, because you get it for about half price or 25% of the original price. But to get this at this reduction at one of the most festive seasons, you know, one of the most festive times of the year, 20 quid, saving you 25, and you can get to use them straight away with all your card making and so on. One left at 20 pounds. Is that going to be the final price? Yes, it's gone. That was a quick one. Everyone pays 20 quid. Price locked. It's locked. It's gone. Anyone pay postage on that one? No, no one paid PMP on that whatsoever. Again, ignore the PMP there. It's 4.95 PMP. Why it's saying 5.95? I'm not quite sure. Uh, but most of you uh, in that auction, or all of you, aren't paying it anyway. Right, now, um, next we've got a real mixture of dyes here for you. Some of them are mixed media. So you've got your mixed media dyes with maple leaves, you've got the tree, the rosettes, and the ribbon buckles. Actually, all of them are mixed media. Now, what does that mean? It means that the cutting edge on the die is deeper than the average thin metal die. So this is designed to go through not just cardstock, but multiple layers of fabric to go through balsa wood, to go through leather, faux leather, to go through aluminium crafting metal, um, to go through acetate, felt, all those things, because the, deep, uh, the deeper the die, the deeper the actual cutting edge of the die, the thicker the uh, die can go through, obviously. Now you're getting all three of these lovely leaves here, these maple leaves, quite spectacular, love those. Then you've got the potential to make your own rosettes out of fabric. There we are, look, two different size circles, or three different size circles, and the tails as well. 
So you can make your own uh, achievement rosettes, maybe for the, I don't know, the best dog in the show or whatever it might be. Uh, you've then got your mixed media tree. So all the tree trunk and the leaves can all be cut out of mo mixed uh, media items such as fabrics and woods and so on. Leather, that sort of thing as well. And then you've also got the buckle sliders. Now these are always really popular because what they do, as you can see over here, uh, they actually cut not only the shape out, but they also cut the little grooves out, which you can slide your ribbon through. So it then becomes a ribbon slider, like a buckle on a ribbon. Really cool. So all of these should be 20, sorry, 59.96. You're getting all of them for 29 pounds and 74 pence. So there's the tree with the uh, the leaves on. I just dropped it on the floor. Thank you, Matthew. Cheers, mate. Then you've got your rosettes. And there, again, are your maple leaves as well. Think about maybe grey board or mount board. It will cut through that as well, no problem. Obviously, your plate formation may need to be looked at, depending on what you normally use your plates for and what, what dies you normally use. These, of course, are going to be a lot, lot thicker. But there's some ideas on the packaging of what you can do with them. They look fantastic. They really, really do. So, buckle sliders, rosettes, maple leaves, and the tree with all the foliage too. 13 left at 29 pounds and 18 pence, or 29.10 as it is now. Manual machines and your electronic machines. These will work brilliantly through all of them for you. 29 pounds and two pence gets you all of these dies, and there are a total of 24 mixed media dies. Another plummet, 26.50, better than half price. 10. Ten of you will be lucky to get this. What about, what about best in show? What about, um, I don't know, achievements in Sunday school or classes, uh, swimming lessons, someone achieves their first width or length or something. Make your own rosettes out of felt or fabric. Cool. You get everything there. You need to make them. But you don't need to just make rosettes out of this. These circular dies can be used for all sorts of things. Make flowers out of them. Absolutely. These are deeper dies than average, and normally they cost a bit more money. Today you're getting them at below half price. 26 pounds, 35 pence, and we have got six spaces in this auction. The next six of you will be lucky if you put it in your basket and check out. We'll get the operator to do it. If you're quick, 01733 797 100. We'll get you through to the operator. Five left. Who's going to miss out? Who's going to get these dies? And what are you going to be making with them? What's the first project you'll be making? Or are you buying them to gift to friends of yours? You're looking for bargains? Craft Price Drop every day is the place for bargains. At 7 a.m., 11 o'clock online only at craftpricedrop.com and in the evening at 7 p.m. too. Three left. We're down to now 26 pounds and one pence. Two remain. Who's going to take it? One more drop. We've broken the £26 barrier. £25.98 for two people and everyone else that's in the auction. That's the price you'll be paying if it closes any second. Or is it going to go down any more? It's just closed. Susan, you got the last one. Price lock. Your debit or your credit card will be charged with just £25.98. And P&P, and, uh, &P, of course, if you're not a Freedom Club member. Now, I, I was tempted to actually kind of uh, make these maybe a start by. Uh, because they are just perfect for this time of the year, especially if you're having a handmade Christmas. If you are, how brilliant are this? What are these? These are actually, um, they're actually Hessian, or burlap, as they say in America. What you've got is really, really soft, so it's easy to tie bows into them, but what you've actually got very cleverly on the outside and inside edge is a fine wire. So that means it actually keeps its shape. So if you put it into a certain position, make a bow with it, it's going to work. And you can cut it very, very easily with ordinary scissors, so it's not hard to cut. Now, I don't have any scissors here, so I can't make a bow out of it, but you get the idea. Basically, if you tie a knot on it, or whatever you do with it, it keeps its shape, because normally it wouldn't. See? Look. Look. It's a bit like when um, someone's got a scarf and they're driving along in a car, an open-top car, and the scarf, you know, stays stiff. A bit like that, really. Because you've got the wires. See what I mean? They're fab, aren't they? So tie bows, tie, you know, wrap up a present with these, if you like that kind of natural look. So a lot of people, had, someone said to me yesterday, who was it that said this, that there's a campaign going on that everyone wraps their Christmas presents in brown paper. I hadn't heard that, but if that's the case, that's good. 
Maybe it's better for the environment than something, I'm not sure. But if you are doing that, it's going to look great. It's a bit like the craft card look, isn't it? Um, then why not have this Hessian bow wrapped around it? Have the fabric bow wrapped around it? It will look lovely. Now, you're going to get two rolls of the Hessian bow... Oh, Hessian bows. You're going to get two rolls of the Hessian ribbons, OK? They are, does it say, five yards each? No, I'm useless with yards. Useless with yards, that's quite a lot anyway. You can see there's a lot on there. Yeah, five yards on each of these and 90 millimetres wide. So we're mixing our measurements again. Sorry. Uh, so you get two rolls of that, and you get to get two rolls of the silver. How cool is that? Silver Hessian. That's something you don't see very often. And these are five yards long as well. So that's a lot of ribbon. That's a lot of bows. Or maybe you just want to use them as bow and decoration uh, around the home. If you've got maybe a staircase or something and you want to put bows around the, the balustrades of the staircase, that will look particularly lovely. You're probably more artistic when it comes to ribbon than I am. So £15, 57 pence is the price at the moment for all four of these rolls. 15.57. 12 pounds, nearly 13 pounds off the price. Can we work out how long 20 yards is in feet? Can we do that? Let's work it out on the good old internet. Because that doesn't mean much to me, yards. Maybe you're the same. 60 feet. So 20 yards is 60 feet. That's 10 of me. 10 heights of me. That's a lot. That's a lot of ribbon. That's a lot of bows. That's a lot of wrapping. And it's also reusable. And also, maybe you want to wait, use this in flower arranging, flower making, things like that, maybe table centres for the Christmas table. Um, if you want that kind of natural looking Christmas, this is the ribbon you need. $13.99, loads of you loving this, I knew you would. You've got the wires on the sides, so it helps to kind of make the shape stay and last longer. These are going to go quickly. If you went out today to a supermarket, or well, you probably wouldn't find them in a supermarket, but in a department store, you'd probably pay quite a lot of money for this. It's the look that everybody's after at the moment, that kind of handmade look, that um, rustic sort of look, definitely. Nine left at £13.83, two silver and two of the traditional fawn colour. Easy to tie because you've got the ribbon that's got wires in the edges. Make them into knots, make them into bows. It will keep its shape a lot more than a standard ribbon ever would. Make them into little dicky bow ties if you want to. These are flying. £13.63, pence. we've only got six left. Four left now at £13.63, working out to about £3.50 each-ish, round about that sort of price, which is good. And that is, remember, 60 feet of Hessian ribbon. Loads of you in, two left, that's all. At £13.55, the next person will get the last one. Karen, you got the last one. It's on its way. Price lock. One of the busiest auctions of the show, I think that was. I had a feeling it would be, because, uh, yeah, they're cool. Your house will look lovely, with bows and ribbons and all sorts in natural hessian. Now, this is also a really novel, nice idea. I like this a lot, because these come in individual kits. Basically, you've got cushion, or pillow boxes, they're called, um, or gift boxes, as they're calling them. But basically what you've got is you get the gift box itself and then you've also got all of these die-cut elements on sheets that you can pop out. So they are, uh, they're untreated cardstock or paper. So they've already been coloured. You might be happy with the colours that they are, but if you want to add a bit more colour, add a bit of distressing onto them or something like that, you can do that. You've also got all these elements here which you can cut out with a pair of scissors. Um, but the main thing is that you've got these fantastic pillow boxes. Now they're all die cut for you and they're made from cardstock. The embellishments are paper but the actual pillow boxes themselves are cardstock. So if I just squeeze in the edges like that, get a bit of glue and you can then fasten that together just with that little lip at the top there. Glue that down and then the edges open out. So you could put a piece of jewellery in there. Talking of jewellery, we're making silver jewellery in the next hour. You could put um, uh, a, a little purse in there or a little wallet in there. Um, maybe a hanky or something. And, you know, a small little gift would go in there, no problem. But they're already printed with lovely vintage festive images on them. We're getting a total of eight of 16 boxes and eight sheets of the flower toppers as well for this price of just £26.93 at the moment. So let me just show you what one of the kits actually comes like. There we are, look, there's another one. So this one's got airmail on it. So they're all different patterns and different um, designs. 
but you just pop out and take out the die cut pillow box like this. There we go. And then all you've got to do then is just basically follow the crease lines. They're already pre-scored. This is the sort of thing that you get maybe if you bought something very expensive from a very upmarket department store. They might offer to put it in a pillow box, something like this, this sort of shape. But again, all you do then is fold that lip over at the top, put a bit of super sticky red liner tape on there, or a bit of glue, and then you just you know, close it together like that. And you end up then with a beautiful pillow box. They're cool, aren't they? So you get 16 of those and eight flower topper sheets which you can decorate your pillow box with just like that. Down now to £24.99. They'd look fantastic in the tree, they'd look wonderful under the tree as well. Maybe gifts that you want to give your neighbour or your friends that live down the road or whatever. Well you don't necessarily want to pop them in the post, you just want to hand deliver them. It could be little cookies that you've made, it could be uh, uh, maybe you make mince pies or something like that. Provided they'll fit in the pillow box, they will be, I'm sure, gratefully received. They're cool, aren't they? Not seen these before. And it is very much a traditional kind of rustic rural Christmas is what we're looking at here. There's another one of those pillow boxes, this time in like a gingham red. So they're all in different shapes, and, well not different shapes, but different sizes. And they're complete pillow box kits. There's one with a flower on it, look. It's lovely, isn't it? Let's get 16 of them with eight flower topper sheets. For £24.69, pence, that is half the price they should be. We have 10 left in the show. How many minutes have we got left? Oh, this is, this, is this the last one? The last auction of craft price drop for this morning. We're jewellery making after the break at the top of the hour. So if you love your jewellery and you want to make something, something that's totally unique, don't go anywhere. Helen will show us how to do it. Nancy said put cookies in them. Good idea, Nancy. Absolutely. Cookies, absolutely no problem. It's up to you what you put in them. Jewellery, cookies, whatever you like. Another great investment on Craft Price Drop. We've had busy lines all morning and it's been busy on the website as well. This is our last auction of the morning. There'll be another one online at craftpricedrop.com at 11 o'clock today. Who's doing that one today? Is that, um... Hayley. Hayley's in today. Okay, Hayley will do that one at 11. And then I think Matt's doing the one tonight at 7 p.m. Six left. £24.15. pence. How low can we go? We've only got literally a few of them left. Five left. It's a Craft Buddy price drop tonight with Dawn Bibby. Ah, right, OK. Did one of those before in the morning. We're doing one tonight in the evening at 7 o'clock. £24.03 with just four remaining. Good luck. You're going to get 16 of these silhouette gift boxes, these fantastic, beautiful cushion boxes. Three left. With literally a couple of minutes left on the show. £23.99. Who's going to get the last couple? Pillow boxes, cushion boxes. They're called either the really. Oh, there's another one. That decorated beautifully. Last one's gone. John, you got the last one. OK, well, in the last minute, I'm going to remind you again of how you can be a Freedom member if you'd like to become a Freedom Club member and you can wear your badge like I am with pride. Uh, Freedom Club membership means you do not have to worry about postage. It's all taken care of by your membership. So there it is. You get your member's badge, monthly newsletter, member's discounts on certain items, watch for the blue flash online, and then the unlimited standard delivery, of course, uh, on anything you buy from Hachanda shows, including Craft Price Drop. Uh, if you're in Europe, these are the countries that, that we can deliver to, and your postage will be paid as well by being a Freedom member, €14.97. Euros and 97 cents. Any of those countries, you can order, and we can deliver, no problem at all. And then in the USA, this is where it gets really exciting, because I know how much it can cost to ship to the USA, and vice versa. It's expensive. Not when you're a Freedom member. You can buy it, not have to worry about uh, postage or shipping and handling. $8.95 normally would be your delivery charge, but if you're a Freedom Club member, you pay $19.99 a month for membership and you don't pay any shipping and handling at all. Now that is a bargain, isn't it? And that's why I have so many people watching us in the USA every day. So welcome if you are watching us outside of the UK and a warm hello if you're watching us inside the UK as well. Uh, we've got lots of great shows coming up, including how you can make your silver jewellery uh, I'm intrigued. I've never seen it before. It's a show that I know has been on air before, but I'm looking forward to learning, and uh, we'll show you how to do it right after a little break. See you in a couple of minutes from now.
So yes, it is the jewellery box coming up at 8 o'clock with Helen and myself. Then John is back with the one-day special, John Next Door. I need to go blue, pour your art out. See what she did there, coming up later. Threaders repositionable fabric adhesive sheets allow you to layer up and bond fabric. They are double-sided and can be used with the Gemini machine and Threaders die range. The 10 double-sided A4 sheets are ideal for applique as they keep small pieces of fabric stuck down. To stock up, check out at www.hochanda.com. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a channel because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a channel. Good morning. Yes, it is time for our jewellery box on this Tuesday morning. Looking forward to this show, actually. Helen, nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Yeah. Now, we are actually firing silver. Pure silver. 999 parts pure silver. Um, and we've got everything in the, in, the, in the show that allows you to do this. And Helen, tell me, about, tell me about what we're actually looking at here. So, yes, we can see if we can get the lights down a bit, because we're not going to say that's better. So what we're doing here is this part of the sintering process. So this is where the silver particles fuse together to make the silver structure. So obviously it starts out as a clay. So we're just doing this a, a bit back to front. But if you can just wait a moment, it should go a pale orange color. If you can see that. I can see it here, but okay. Ah, there, there we goes. go, it's there we go. Orange. So, so when we talk about the two minute firing process, uh, this is really what you're looking for. So that's great. So you can actually see now that's what it's supposed to look like. So you've got the piece of um, uh, putty that we're going to be using later. Um, then you dry that, you know, you obviously create your piece, dry it, and then you heat it up and fire it with a small torch like I'm doing here. Uh, and it's perfectly safe to do. You know, the clay is just made out of um, pure silver, uh, an organic, non-toxic binder, and some water. So uh, it's actually very safe to do. And you can fire this as many times as you want. And as you well. mentioned to me earlier on as well that because it is 999 parts pure, there's no problems with allergies or anything like no, that? No, no. I found that uh, anybody that's, you know, allergic with sterling silver, like sometimes people, you know, they've got like sterling silver earrings uh, that sort of turn your ears black. Um, you won't have that problem with this. Right, no, okay. no. <laughs> now, I'm fascinated by this. Uh, as many of you know, I've got like a jewellery background. So to actually be able to make my own at home, 
um, without actually having to have it manufactured or whatever is, is really intriguing for me and hopefully it is for you as well. Now we've got the details on the screen for the actual, uh, the torch itself and firing block as well. Only £17.49 pence is all you've got to pay for that. But we've got a little bit of everything in the show. Uh, we've got books for inspiration and that sort of thing. We've got the silver, of course, coming up too. Freedom members, you only pay £15.74 pence if you'd like that. And that's 137208. But we are going to go down the counter and explain all the processes and show you everything that's uh, in the show. If you have a little look at the website, which is hachanda.com. You can see all the items that we've got for you in the show, including the two books, Helen. They're a, a good investment, these books, they're aren't they? They're great. You know, they're just a really good price, and it gives you sort of an idea of all the kind of different things that you can do with it. So, um, so we'll just go... Yeah, we'll go over and have a little look <laughs> at the counter and have a, a rundown and explain all the processes and show you exactly what, uh, what's what. Now, these books, um, we've got... Precious metal clay in mixed media, and we've also got more metal clay for beaders as well. And this just gives you inspiration and ideas, presumably. It yeah? does. So the more metal clay for beaders, oh, sorry, take that, take that. Um, it has lots of basic projects in it, sort of inspiration. So it's really about what I like about these books, that it's technique-based. Yeah. So obviously you want to create your own design. You're not going to copy the square in the book or something, but it's nice to know how to do it. So it's all fully illustrated, full colour, um, so it's really good to do. And once you've got those techniques, and obviously you can make your own things, you can make them bigger or smaller or different shape or size, uh, and then the other book is a sort of a follow-on book, which is more sort of the mixed media. So that's the moulding, for instance. That's great. We've done that before. Um, there's just so many different things you do. And, you know, you may not you know, like all of them, but you will find something in there. Think, oh, that's just for me. I've always wanted to make rings. Or sure. I wanted to make a brooch or a pair of earring studs or something. You can do that. And then, really, when you get beyond the basics, well, as you can see, you can cut enamel onto PMC. That's for... Uh, polymer clay inserts, um, that's adding gold, um, there's lots of different things that you can then expand and, and really make it your own, which is great. Well, these are a brilliant price, they should be nearly £30, we've got both of them together today for 11 98 so it's less than what one of these books should be, yes, you're getting yes. both of them. So really good idea, so if you're intrigued about and interested in making your own silver jewellery, then these two books would be an absolute godsend, they really would, 327993, your item number there. Now, um, a lot of these were... I was, was, I was new to the process this morning, so <laughs> when I saw these pots, first of all, I wasn't quite sure what this was all about. It's, got, it's called, actually, um, liver of sulphur. Gel, yeah. But it's yeah. antiquing gel, you told me. It is. So when you make... What's great about the precious metal clay is that it takes texture so well. Uh, and sometimes you've got a really subtle texture. You don't want to go overboard on it. Uh, or in this case, you know, I did want to put something more into it. And it just highlights the texture. It, it just gives a different look to it. And if you don't like it, you can literally just rub it off, you know? But right. um, So that's great. So you just heat up the piece, it burns off, and it's back to its natural state. And it gives you this sort of effect, like a, a, yes. an, an aged patina, like a vintage look to it, doesn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. And today we're going to be doing the fingerprinting as well, so a, a great way to lift the print, or if you're we're going to be doing some stamping, if you're going to stamp something in, some words into it, as you can see, then you can just raise the, the lettering, so now, it just makes it easy to read. Think about how special this is going to be, what you just heard Helen say, fingerprint. That could be your child's fingerprint, thumbprint. It could be your mother's, your father's, your grandparents. It could be you, your husband, your partner, whoever it is. You can have their thumbprint or fingerprint immortalised in silver on a piece of jewellery. That's a pretty special thing, isn't it? It is. It, it makes it really personal, doesn't it? Totally. Really? And yeah. it's something you've made and you've done the whole process from start to finish, which is nice. Yeah. Okay. Now, next to the uh, liver of sulphur, we've got our stamps that are letters of the alphabet. So these are, again, about personalisation, I suppose, aren't yes, they? Yes. It's got numbers and letters. So you've got everything thing here so you can write a little message into something or you can write somebody's name or a date or happy birthday whatever you like and what's nice about these stamp sets is that they're just two millimeter size that are nice and small because you tend to work quite a small basis so you don't want lots of big lettering over it you can be quite subtle with it and do you do you personalize when it's molten or do you uh, yes we're going to do you can press it straight into the wet clay which right. is lovely uh, and if you forget you know you can hammer them in afterwards as well because they are steel yeah, I was going to say, they're, they're heavy metal, aren't they? They really yes, are. Yeah. And they come in a rather attractive wooden presentation box, too. Yeah. Um, and they're twenty nine ninety nine for these. And they are 100 506, your item number. Now, next is a really handy tool to invest in. If you want to have, of course, a hole for a jump ring or something like that, uh, this is the drill that will get that 
for you. Yes, yeah, so that drill does everything really. So it's got the, the five drill bits inside and uh, then it's got the extra files with it. So you can do all your drilling and um, yeah, so it's on the, in the barrel at mm -hmm. the top and it's got a collet that's fully adjustable. So um, I'll be using that in the demonstration as well. So the nice thing about these drill bits is that you, uh, they're perfect for your pendants, for your earrings, because don't forget the, the clay that we're going to be using, the fine silver clay, uh, shrinks 10 to 15 percent. So your hole's going to shrink too. So right. obviously you want to make sure that once your piece is fired, you can still get your jump ring through. And you can see there's a little hole in the corner of the butterfly. So yeah. that could be a little charm. It could be a, a bracelet charm. It could be a necklace piece or it could be maybe even a, a bag charm if you wanted it to be. Yes, yeah. Or one on a purse or something like that. So those are the little drills that you'll need. £22.49 is the price. Now next we've got, uh, this is what we're going to be using to transfer the fingerprints, isn't yes, it? Yes, we're going to try that today. So, so often, you know, uh, it's nice to be able to take the fingerprints yourself at home or, you know, Christmas of course is a great time because everybody is at home at Christmas to take fingerprints. But, you know, if you've got somebody living abroad or somebody living a long distance away, then you can sell, send them some of the putty, they can take the print, post it back to you and then you can still make something. So if you want to do a, a bracelet with the whole family and you're missing one person then you can still include them so what that's really fun. great idea I love that and the fact that it's been personalized with that lady's name as well that little girl's name Catherine yeah that's my youngest daughter oh, yeah so sweet <laughs> And you've got that wherever you go now, for life. It is lovely, and it's something that's small, and it's something you can keep with you, especially, you know, I've got three children, so the more children you have, there's a limit to how many drawings you can have on the fridge and pictures on the True. wall. True, absolutely. So it's, it's nice to keep it small. We'll show you how to use this, because it's not obvious. I, I, you know, I'm looking at it thinking, how's that I know, work? I know. We'll show it to you a bit later <laughs> on. But, uh, people are putting that in their baskets right now. Four strips and instructions. The fingerprint putty is 544242. Then moving along, Helen, next we've got what? We've got a texture mat, haven't we? It is. So, so you've got a bit of everything there. So that's like a basic stool called, um, sorry, tool kit. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got a work mat there. So you've got the work mat. So that's got a grid on it and some instructions. Um, so that's what you work on because the clay won't stick to it. Then you've got a roller and spacer. So if you're making a flat pendant like we've done in some of the previous shows, mm -hmm. then you can roll the clay out to the correct thickness. You've got a brass plate there to add some texture to the back of your pendant mm -hmm. so and that's the rubber mat uh, that you can use then to create some texture the front of your pendant so it's really lovely that you can then actually make something that's double-sided or reversible are they your such. thickness strips as well yes these are thickness strips so they're one and a half millimeters uh, that means that you won't roll the clay out too thinly uh, but not too thick that you're not you know you're really making the most of your clay Twenty-four ninety-nine is the price. One one three six three one for all of that. That's a really good value bundle. That as well. <coughs> and then moving along next, um, this is the actual silver itself. Now we do have also larger quantities of the silver available on the website, which we'll show you in a second. But this is your jewellery gift set. So this is a great place to start because you've got six point three grams of your silver. You've then got your gemstones here as well, including genuine turquoise. And what are these other beads? Yes. So that's um, electroplated rock crystal. Right. And the other ones are electroplated hematite. Wow. So they're quite funky, really. They yeah, are. It's quite new. And you get, of course, your jump rings here as well, as well as the uh, silver as well, 6.3 grams of precious metal clay. You've then got, of course, your bracelet and you've got your necklace. So those are the two things that you can make, obviously, using these. And mm. a polishing cloth as well? Yeah, little polishing cloth. Yeah, so it's quite nice. And it comes in a nice little gift box as well. So uh, once you've made it, you can put it in a nice little box and give it as a present. It, it's a really nice little kit. Um, and this is the sort of thing you can do. There are some of the gems uh, with that uh, little ingot of silver hanging from the chain. And we've got the flower here that's been made out of the silver as well. So there's enough to make, what, two charms is there? In, in yes, there? I would say easily make two charms. You don't want to make them too teeny weeny. No. So, um, yeah, so you can just make enough something that's subtle enough. Um, yeah. And it comes in a gift box as well. So that's yeah. twenty-eight pound ninety-nine pence, one six one one zero oh, eight. Can we also show the bigger quantity of the silver? Have we got a little slide of that? Just as we're talking about the silver, if you want to get more of it, um, we do actually do a much bigger offer on the silver as well. So here it comes. This is if you want the fifteen grams of silver on its own. That is uh, just thirty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence for the silver clay. Sixteen point seven grams. We get fifteen grams of pure silver in there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's right. So you can actually make quite, you know, I would say at least three to four, possibly five pieces out of that. And it's a lot of clay. And what's an advantage of having a bigger pack is that you get the bigger rolling distance. So you can actually make bigger pieces because what you want to do is you want to roll it out as far much as possible 
and then perhaps use negative space so cut out something out of the center and then you can make a bigger piece without actually using Great. a lot of silver okay well that's 31.99 if you want to get more silver okay now here we've also got another kit tell us what's in this yeah it's just a very simple kit so we try and keep the simple kits really um, going so you can just have a go get started and then you can always add to them so you've got um, a, a rubber block here and, and just a, a brass brush so obviously we use the brush brush with the water that gives you a first polish uh, and that's a, a natural agate so that's an agate burnisher and that gives you that high shine finish okay. um, and then it's got just a little silver polishing cloth with it and um, so it's just a little set but the rubber blocks great for instance when we looked at the hand drill earlier when you're drilling holes on something use that rubber block you'll see mine later has got many holes in it mm -hmm. uh, so it's really good also if you've got arthritis in your hands or you've got difficulty working with your hands it's a great way so you can actually put your clay onto that and work on it when it's wet in its wet state uh, it's just easier on your wrist. Well, that is 17.49 if you'd like that bundle. We've got the blowtorch, and we've also got the 999 stamp, which you could also have as well if you yes. want to uh, actually kind of uh, state, stamp and label your silver piece. There's the butane torch, and you get the firing brick, of course, as well. Uh, and that's uh, 17 pounds and 49 pence for that. And what do you put in it? Is it, is it uh, lighter fuel? It's just normal or? lighter fuel. I can show you later. I've actually brought a, a can with me because, as you say, you think, oh gosh, which nozzle do I use? Mm. So yes, that's a, remind me. I'll demonstrate that in a minute because once you know how it's just so easy but it's uh, just a normal lighter fuel gas that you can get at a, any sort of cigarette counter. Now the last thing on the counter just here is your 999 punch uh, because you're quite within your rights obviously to brand your jewellery because it is 999 parts pure and that is the metal punch that will allow you to do that and presumably just hit it with a hammer do you? Or? No, 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 we just push it into the wet clay. Oh, the wet clay. It's even easier. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that sold out last time but uh, we got a few more in for this show. Great, okay. Okay, well, it's yep. £19.99 pence if you'd like it. Okay, that's 19 99 and it's 546199, your item number. Now, also, we've got uh, some more gems for you, gem mix for you. So what we've got in here, it's a 10 fireproof gem mix. So the gems, what gems have we got in here, then? Uh, they're all synthetic gems. All oh, right. So uh, now I know people tend to think, oh, synthetic gems, that's uh, cubic zirconia, uh, but it's not. So they can be synthetic uh, spinel, corundum. So these are all gemstones that are a, a replica, a chemical replica of an actual gemstone, but they can all be fired with a torch or in a kiln, uh, and you can fire them as many times as you want, and they will go back to their natural colour. Okay, nine yeah. pound ninety nine, two two four four nine six is your item number there. That's a good point to make actually because I suppose you can't always fire natural you gemstones, can you? You can fire some natural gemstones, but not with a torch, because no. obviously you're applying a lot of heat to it straight away. Um, that needs to be fired in a kiln. So, uh, but these gemstones are great when you're starting out. You want to have a go. You want to add a bit of sparkle to your piece. You want to make sure, of course, that it's going to work, yeah. because you're going to put that right in the middle of your piece, and if it cracks or it changes colour, that would be a, a real shame. So these are tested. They're all different shapes and sizes, so you've got an Enough selection just to, to get going really. So what's the first step then when we decide we want to do our fingerprint or whatever what do we do first yep. of all? Okay so <laughs> first of all so here is where I've just taken some of the clay out so let's have a look oh before I forget shall I should do the torch mm, okay. uh, filling because I'll forget during the show we'll get carried away so so again here was the, the torch earlier when you turn the torch up you see there's a hole at the bottom and the, the stand comes off uh, so you, again you've got that one so this is just my normal lighter fuel mm -hmm. Let's put this one down. And as you know, it always comes with lots of different attachments. You don't need to change the attachments. It's just the nozzle as it comes. Okay, right. And then all you do is you press it down and you can feel that you can feel that it gets cold, mm -hmm. basically. And that's where it fills up. So once it's full, as you can see, it just bubbles over and then you know it's full. So it's simple as that. You just literally press it down. Okay, that's uh, easy. And gosh, I, I don't feel it very often. You know, you've only got a two minute firing time. Um, so it's very, very simple to well, that's do. That's all it takes is two minutes. Yes, so, ah. um, so basically what happens is that you, you heat the piece up. So you heat the piece up. The first thing that happens is that you'll get a little bit of smoke. 
Then you get a little flame on it, mm -hmm. which is basically the binder burning off, and then it turns that orange colour that we saw at the beginning of the show, and that's where you time for two minutes. Hence, I, I always have a little kitchen timer oh, to hand. Okay. So the two minutes is actually a, a minimum time. If you're not quite sure, it doesn't matter. You can just keep going. There's no maximum firing time. Right. The only thing there is with PMC is a maximum temperature, because obviously silver melts just below 1,000 degrees. So when you're firing with a torch, you're firing at about 900, 920, so you're absolutely fine. You're okay. not going to melt it. So, right. Um, so the first thing to do, so when you're working with the, the clay, I'll just get this here. Now I can get my plastic work mat out. So you've got the work mat. I tend to work on the work mat um, because the clay won't stick to it. Mm -hmm. Now in one of the kits as well, we've got the, uh, the badger balm. Uh, should be up there and so the badger balm barely just stops the clay sticking to your hands okay you know um, so there we go so we've got the clay so I put that on my hands and then I'll just open the packet so the packet to open the packet don't bother about the back flap that's where everybody else so you literally just tear the top off like I've done and then it is a resealable pouch so when you're working with the clay so when you're working with the clay, just keep a little bit of uh, wet tissue in it or mm -hmm. something like that. So there we go. So it comes out of here and it stays in his wrapper. And you can just pull a bit off. If I'm working with the clay, a, a useful tip is just to use the lid of your badger balm with a little bit of water. And then you can just put your excess clay underneath there. So when you're working, you don't have to keep going back and forth into the pack. Good idea. So this this is the this is the red uh, clay that comes in one of the kits up here, isn't it? Yes, that's the... the one in the kits. Yeah, because of the pack sizing at the moment, you get slightly more in it. So we've got uh, the PMC three here, uh, and we've also got uh, the PMC Flex, which is the bigger pack, which has a longer working time. So this is the 16 grams. Yes. of pure silver in this one, okay? Which is in the kit that's got, is that on the screen? No, it's not the one in the kit. This ah. is a larger pack. Ah, thank you, It's Bob. a larger pack. The other one is the um, seven grams. Seven so, grams. but it's the same clay. Right. Yeah. So, what I do is when I get it out, is just use the palms of your hands. You can see I'm not wearing any jewelry at all. Palms of your hands to make putty. Mm -hmm. Now, you can either just press it down yourself, if you're going to make a charm. So you can make it down, or you can use your roller and spacer. So when you're using your roller and spacers, use it like this on either side. You're just using the spacers as a guide. I'm just so thinking about all the ladies watching that maybe have got um, charm bracelets from that very well-known <laughs> store that, yeah. uh, that uh, is quite expensive. They're lovely, but they are quite expensive. Why not add one that you've made yourself to your bracelet? How special it would that does. be? It uh, does, because when you want it to look handmade not homemade but you also want something that's individual mm. isn't it you think um a lot of it just looks very mass produced and that's one thing about which i like about precious metal clay it's not mass produced and even if you made two charms they would never be identical no. which is really really nice so so here i think i've got a little bit of glitter in here obviously from the from the, <laughs> the, the, the previous occupational, show. <laughs> occupational hazard in this building i'm afraid the glitter everywhere I'm like, okay, right, we've got a bit of glitter in there, but don't worry too much about it. Anything sort of organic or things like that will just burn off so you can get that out. Now, if you're doing this, um, if you're doing fingerprinting, you can just put the fingerprint straight into it, mm -hmm. um, or you can just use uh, your finger, you get smaller, and you just press in, and what you want to do is just get that little lip there. So, okay. So you can see, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, yeah, we got that. Yeah, the top. So, and then as you can see, oh, sorry, I've got my, got my arm in front of it. Um, so you can see I've got some small cracks around it, but you can just wipe those out with a paintbrush and, a, and some water. Right. So water is really, really handy for PMC because you can just get them out. Make a nice smooth surface. Yeah, make a nice smooth surface. Well, you ca you're going to sand it obviously later and refine it, but I don't like wasting my clay, so... Now, the um, kit that we got the details of on the screen, uh, this has got everything apart from... Does it come with the silver, this kit, or not? This one. You've got the balm, you've got the match, you've no, got the Teflon sheet. No, that's the basic tool kit, right. yeah. The other one is the jewellery kit that has got the... Um, the clay in it. So this one is really, you've got the basic kit. So so you've got the badger balm now. 
Oh gosh, I think mine lasts about at least two years. I can imagine. So it, it's really good. It doesn't go off. And what's perfect about the Badger Balm is an olive oil based cream. It doesn't affect the chemical structure of the clay during the firing. Now that's really important because don't forget you're mixing this into the silver. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to heat it up. Um, you know, so you don't want anything that's going to be toxic or affects the structure because obviously you want your piece to be strong. So, you know, never use anything like Vaseline or no. anything like that because that's not going to be good. So we've had this then. And then um, here is one I did with the, the putty. But, and then we've got the stamp set. So I'll just put some. So with the stamp set, they're really easy to use. Um, so if you're just going to, I don't know if I'm just going to put make sure you've got them the right way up. So I'll just demonstrate it and then, so you're gonna press that one. I'm gonna do BIM, O E. I suppose if you wanted to do it uh, freehand, could you, because I noticed the Catherine one up there, but that's not yep. stamped, is it? That's yep. actually done no, by. Yeah, that's what we're doing for, that's the next show we're oh, doing okay, now. Right. You've got to tune in in December where we're doing that <laughs> one. You've, ju you've jumped the gun there. So, so, so you can just stab this one in. Yeah. And then we're doing the engraving in the next show, actually. Uh, and then, um, for instance, now, if we had the 999 stamp, again, you know, you could just, uh, you can actually pick this up because the, the three is actually quite dry. And you could just stamp that into the back, into the clay at this point. Mm -hmm. So that's the bit to do. So, and then we can just leave this to dry and refine it. But using the stamps, that's the, that's the foolproof way of making it look Absolutely. fantastic. Absolutely. it's and numbers and letters, isn't it's it? It's numbers and letters, the and sign. So that's really quite nice. And then you can just space this out. And you know that all the letters are going to be good. Because not everybody likes engraving. Mm. So, um, right, so I'll just put this one away. Right. So that would be ready to be fired then, would it? Uh, no, so that one would be uh, ready to dry. Right, I'll dry first, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so there we got, here's one we did earlier. So here's one we did earlier, and I will I'll did this one with the, um, the fingerprint putty. So that's this one, how I did this one. But um, at this point, so the next stage to do is just, just to leave to dry. So leave it to dry on your radiator or, you know, um, yeah, anywhere overnight really in a warm place. So how does the fingerprint putty come into play then? Why, why, because yeah. you did it with you without it a minute ago. So Yeah, that's the one without it. So that's the one too. So I can do the putty now. So with the putty, it, it comes into the strips. And uh, so all I did here is just take some scissors and just cut the strips. So you can do two or three. So here we go. So we got that and then um, let me just move a few things out of the way. <laughs> so what you're going to do now, uh, with that you do hot water. So I've got some hot water here. So you literally, and it comes with full instructions, so the instructions actually with the kit are better than what I'm demonstrating now. Mm -hmm. um, so you put it into the hot water and then you leave it in for at least two minutes. So I'll set my timer again. And normally you just use hot water out of a kettle, wouldn't you? But yeah. we haven't got a kettle in the studio today, yeah. so that's why we're using this. Yes, yes. And you have to do it twice. So I thought, well, we're going to have a kettle boiler here. So, so leave that in for two minutes. So you're letting it uh, melt. Now, um, the reason that you're using it straight from the kettle and not on the hob is because obviously you don't want this too hot because you're going to be handling it with your hands. Right. Um, the also, the thing to do is to make sure you use a, um, a metal spoon and not a plastic one because sometimes it can get stuck to, to ah, the actual right, yeah. putty, which is not so good. Right, so we've got another minute and a half. Let me just see. Mm -hmm. Well, let's remind you of the books as well. While we're waiting yeah. for that to, to melt a little bit, the books yeah. are brilliant because they give you, uh, of course, page after page of inspiration. You've got the metal clay for beaders. You've also got the precious metal clay in mixed media as well. Both of them should be nearly £30, uh, about £14.99 each. Today, they're both eleven ninety eight for the two, OK? 327993 is your item number there. Uh, £18 saved. And also, the polishing kit we've got for you, let's remind you of that again, too, because there's your metal brush. Uh, they've also got the agate buffer, did you call that? The agate? Burnisher. Burnisher. Yeah. And then you get your rubber block and you've also got your polishing cloth there as well. And that's £17.49 for that particular kit. 813073. Then we have this, which is your hallmarking punch. That's got 999 on it, which is, of course, the uh, pure silver. 925 is, of course, sterling silver, but this is 999. 546199 is your item number there. How's it going? 
it's, it's almost there. Heating up, it's heating up, it's close there. So, so this is the first stage that I'm doing, as you can see, it's going, is to get it into a ball. Mm -hmm. But it's still not quite, you want to get it really, really soft. But you can see it's softening up compared to yeah. what it was. But it needs a bit more. So now, so the thing to do is to get it into the ball and then put it back in again. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put it on the hob here. Don't do this at home. Wakey well wakey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always worried the battery is going to run out and then I'll have to use my phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, right, we'll just leave that for another little bit. Okay, we're getting lots of you coming through for the books as well. I just love the idea that you can make something that's co totally unique. I mean, all these pieces that are just around us here in the studio, um, just look at these. I mean, this ring, for example. And, um, you know, this is a pure silver, not 925 sterling. It's 999 mm -hmm. silver. Uh, this little lovely heart charm that we got over there as well. You know, you can make real, bespoke, unique pieces of jewellery. But I love the idea of the, fin the fingerprint. I think that's just such yeah, a unique it's thing. So, do you know what that big piece is at the end there? Mm. Have a guess. Next to the ring, right next to the... That is actually a piece of bath sponge. What, no, this? down, down, in front of you. Right, that one. This one? Yeah, yes. Is it? Yes, and what it is, it's basically once you've got old scraps of silver, you can put it into a little pot, uh, just add some water to it, give it a stir, and you turn it into paste. And that's what that is. It's all the old scraps literally put onto a bit of bath sponge, and then that's just burnt away the bath sponge. So that's, yeah, it's solid that silver now. That is cool, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's a bit of a monster. But <laughs> I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Let me just uh, have a flick through the books again as well for you while we're waiting for the, uh, the, uh, the mould to set or to, to um, be more pliable. Every single page has got loads of ideas. You know, you don't necessarily copy the ideas, although you can if you want to, but it just gives you techniques and you can then do your own thing and make that bespoke piece of jewellery. Whether you're buying it, uh, the, the books to maybe make stuff yourself to sell, uh, or whether you're making it for yourself or your family or as gifts at Christmas time. But I just love the uniqueness of it all. Yes, every piece is different and everybody can create their own style, which is nice. Definitely. Yeah, Loads of ideas. Lace. You can just use texture. You can use textured paper. You can use lace. Again, with a little bit of badger balm on it to stop it sticking. Um, yeah. And wrapping silver around glass beads. That's a lovely idea. Yeah. Yes, if you've got a kiln, obviously you don't want to torch fire the glass. No. Um, but if you've got a kiln or access to a kiln, um, then you can just put that onto bits of glass. Um, it's a very similar idea to the necklace in front of you where we did the bead cap, so you're not actually sticking the silver onto the beads themselves. You can just have them in between, for instance. So that's really a variation oh, yeah. of something that you can... That you can torch fire, of course. Right. So you can torch fire anything that's the size and, thick, uh, and thickness of a 50 pence piece. So, you know, if you don't have access to a kiln, you think, oh, God, I really like that idea of using the silver with the glass beads, mm. or in this case, the pearls, um, then you can torch fire those and, and thread them on. Fantastic, aren't they? Okay, how are we doing with the, uh, we the putty? How we're we cooking here? Yes, don't do this on light. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, right, so I've got it out. Obviously, be careful when it comes out of the hot water, yes. it's going to be very, very hot. Yeah, it's going to be hot, so... But you can hold it. So you're going to put that, so as you can see, you can sort of, So you basically put that into your hand, and then what you do is you take the person's finger and you press it down. Mm -hmm. I know my hands are not very good on current. <laughs> uh, and then you hold that for about 10 seconds. So you hold it for about 10 seconds all the way in. So it's a quite handy way to do. Mm -hmm. And you can already see the print's really visible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm moving that away from the camera, of course. Right. Uh, well, we can see it. Uh, I'll just pop that into a bowl of cold water. And what the cold water does is that it sets it. Right. So it's very simple. So, and again, I'll just turn this off. If, if you've, if you've, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can take it out. Yeah. As you can see, it's set now. If I hold that to the camera, can you see there's the, there's Helen's fingerprint in I there. I know. I don't even see that. There we go. You know, and if you've tried it and, and you don't like the effect, then it's very easy. Pop it back into the hot water and have another go. So you can have an unlimited go at it. Yeah, because so, this so, can be remoulded. So yeah, absolutely. So don't panic. So one strip, I would say, makes about three of these or two of these. For hygiene, you probably want to use just one for the same person. So yes, and then what you do? So here's the one I did yesterday. Uh, you turn it then inside out, so you can see the print on it already. Shall I come and pick that up? Um, I should hold, yeah. Yeah, there it that. is. Yeah. So then you hold it up, and then you literally 
press that down into the silver. So you basically reverse it. So it means that you don't, so normally when you're taking a print, it's a first generation print because obviously you're pressing the finger straight into it. This way, it's only the second generation print. Mm -hmm. Normally, if you use different methods, using molding compound, a traditional molding compound, or you're using plaster of Paris, then of course you're taking it down another generation, which mm -hmm. means that the print becomes less and less visible. Uh, and it's totally safe to use with small children, or if you've got a very small child, you can also do toes, of course. Oh, cool. Which is very cute. Yeah. I love the idea, you know, about if someone isn't with you, uh, maybe they live in a different town or city yeah. or different country even, just send them the piece of that modelling. Yeah, and you can see how simple Butting. it is. Yeah. Anybody can do this. Uh, and then, you know, it's not going to cost a lot to post this back to you, and no. then you can still do the whole process and do the whole family. Brilliant. So um, we showed that, so that earlier. So, so now we've got the beast that I, so this one I did actually using uh, this one. So how long does that take to dry then? You said you leave I it to dry. I did this last night. Right. Um, I just left it on the hob a bit because it, it got wet in the car this morning. Right. <laughs> so I've had to dry it out a bit. Uh, the next step is just to use a little bit of sanding paper. So this is just a, a wet and dry. Or you can use, of course, your, your hand drill's got the filing attachments as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and if the, the great thing about uh, doing the sanding and the filing before you fire it is that, of course, that firing, that drill set's going to last you forever, you know. Do you need that boiling water anymore? Uh, no. Oh, I thought I'd switched it off. There we go. I just saw it doubling away. Yes. No, I think that's not just... <laughs> Yes, I'm not going to burn the studio <laughs> down this morning. Um, so as you can see, I'll just demo this. It's now sanding. Mm 